So now I have cut a little bit of foam out. I've actually melted it with the soldering iron. Probably why my soldering iron is such a mess as I do naughty things like that. And uh, I've measured it up and it fits. So literally it's just going to stop it from shorting out and a bit, a bit of vibration protection as well from the drone. And that's going to go like so. Then I had an idea that I would then secure it with a cable tie. There's a tiny little cable tie. I'll put that around there. And I'll lock it into place because, like I said, I have got a frame coming that's going to actually protect it properly. So this is just a temporary thing. And I'm hoping that's going to fit because I haven't tried that before. I showed you guys that was my plan. So yep, yeah, that's what I'm going to do now. Get that in place with the. And also, probably a good idea if I get the camera to face the right way, as this is the back with the battery. And this is the front. So yep, yeah, that's the next thing I'm going to do. Look at this, I've put the cable to the wrong side of the antenna. Hopefully that will just squeeze through. Otherwise I'm gonna to have to try and find another one. There we go. Thank God we got a hot glue on there, hey? To keep those secure. Alright. So I was like tight. Now there is a little button just here, so I can't put the cable tie over that. Now that now makes my camera face down, and I'm going to want it to face up. So I'm going to need another cable tie to support the back. Try and get it locked in like so. So that's going to be my next challenge. <laughs> 